this week on HomeKit News, the Tarui AC controller with matter and thread. Welcome back everybody. Today we're looking at a world first from a company called Tarui from Taiwan, hence the Chinese writing that simply says Infrared AC Controller. If you've watched this channel for a while, you know I've reviewed quite a few of these devices, all of which I'll have a look at later. But this is new in that it not only works with Apple Home, but it's matter compatible and also uses thread. What makes this a world first is that unlike all AC controllers, this totally runs on batteries, so no cables, but it also stores all IR codes on device, so it doesn't need any cloud connection to work or even download anything. It all sounds great, although there are a few minor details that may or may not be to your liking. So what's in the box first of all though? First off is a small quick start guide that goes through four steps to set it up, including a matter code. There's a double sided sticker, which you almost certainly will need later. There's a single ER14250 battery to power the device. Remember, this is totally wire free. And finally, the IR blaster itself coming in at roughly two and a third inches square and just 25 millimeters or just under one inch deep. There are a series of holes on the top and bottom, which is where the IR signal is transmitted. On the front is a small red LED, and if we open it up, you can see another instance of the matter code, as well as the battery compartment. Now, when it came to setting this device up, I honestly nearly gave up. More on that in a bit. But first, you have to put the battery in, of course, then press this little reset button for roughly two seconds. After that, a small blue LED will begin flashing, ready for pairing your AC's re original remote. Basically, you're meant to point the remote at the IR receiver, whereupon it'll recognize the model, resulting in the LED turning solid blue for a couple of seconds before then turning off. After that, you simply need to add it to your smart home using the matter QR code. Strangely enough, this never worked for me at all, but oddly enough as well, I'd already paired my remote to an Akara Hub M3 and I was able to transmit the signal from the M3 to the AC controller without any issues, which is very odd. Anyway, it's added to Apple Home now, so let's have a look. I'm still running a single Tado AC controller, as you can see here, which give the basics as well as temperature and humidity sensors, which you can see at the top of the screen. By contrast, the Taro E appears to be even more basic. It still has the three basic modes, but if you go into the settings, you can see we still have a humidity sensor. There is also a temperature sensor, so when your AC is on, you'll see the actual temperature in blue with the target temperature below. Because this is matter compatible, I decided to try adding it to Akara as well via the M3 and it worked first time. You do get auto mode as a bonus, unlike in Apple Home, but beyond that, there's no fan speed control or any additional modes that you might normally see with the M3 or other Akara hubs. Akara does have a log of any changes though, which could be useful. Now the manufacturer recommends that you place this device as close as possible to the AC or even on the AC itself like so. As you can see, it works with only a slight delay. So if you are planning to have this on a wall opposite the AC, it's probably going to be too far away. Now I tested it below the AC at around 10 inches away and it still worked, but any more than this and its responsiveness went down drastically. It does work though, and without any dangling wires or cables. So what other options are there if you don't mind wires? There's the SwitchBot Hub 2, which not only exposes your AC to HomeKit, but other IR devices too. If you're in North America, the MISA Smart AC thermostat is pretty good and has on-device controls, although it is not that cheap. The Akara Hub M3 can also control your AC, but won't expose other IR devices to HomeKit. And of course, there's no physical control, unless of course you opt for the W100, which I reviewed not so long ago. Nature make the Remo Lapis, which can control your AC with up to 20 IR devices and expose all of them to HomeKit, whilst also looking like a pebble. Strange. Then there's the Sensibo Air, which is a decent AC controller, but well overpriced in my opinion. SwitchBot also make the Hub Mini, which can expose the AC and other IR devices to HomeKit, and it's also small. But the smallest of them all is the Nature Remo Nano at 
about a tiny 1.85 inches square and about as small as an Akara mini switch basically. Tado still makes the V3 Plus and I used three of these for years until very recently, although not as easy to find outside Europe. Akara's P3 is unique in that it can still receive signals from the original AC remote, so it stays in sync regardless of how the AC is controlled, but it does use a 16 amp Chinese plug. Tapo make an IR blaster with matter, and this one is also a hub for their own sub 1GHz sensors. It's also very cheap. And finally to the third SwitchBot device, their third generation hub, which I've actually not been able to play with just yet, but it does look very slick. So you do have plenty of choice these days, but the Taroe is still the only one with matter over thread and no wires or cables. On to the pros and cons now, starting as I often do these days with matter over thread, which means it's fairly future proof whilst also working with all the major platforms. It's reasonably small, although the design is nothing to shout about, but it's also not designed to be seen in all honesty. Now, as it uses batteries, you don't have to worry about dangling cables or even need to be near an outlet. So this is a major breakthrough. And to this, the fact that it has the library of IR codes built into the device, this means it never needs any cloud or server connection at all. It seems that the IR transmitter isn't that strong, I guess to preserve battery life, so it does need to be placed near to your AC unit for effective functionality. And the only issue was the setup procedure for me, which, while straightforward on paper, was a pain in the to be honest, and just wouldn't work with my original AC remote, but was very happy to receive a signal from my Akara M3, strangely enough. Hopefully this was a one-off. So that's our take on the Taroe AC controller with matter over thread. Is this the AC device you've been waiting for, or does a power cable take precedence over switching batteries? Let me know in the comment section below, and if you've got any questions on this or any of my other videos, ask away and I'll always reply. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, show some love by giving it a like, share if you can, and do subscribe if you haven't done so already. It just remains for me to leave you with this week's quote, this time from the legend that is Groucho Marx.